Hello, today I will be reviewing the Bluetooth smartwatch. This is for iOS or Android. As you can see, it has a nice brown plastic strap to it. Uh, there is a goldish dial to it, but the screen size is rather nice. Uh, it is easy to move from one screen to the next. Once you get into the menu, it is very easy to move uh, from each of the uh, particular apps that have been loaded onto it. Uh, with the setup, uh, you can quickly and easily get to a QR code, which will take you to the application download screen and make it so that you can quickly and easily link to your phone. So with that, I'm going to bring in my phone. This is a Note 4 if you're interested on size. I'm going to go ahead and pair it to my device. Actually, one of the things I want to show you, if you look closely, you'll notice the time on my watch and the time on my phone are different. So you can quickly and easily set your time too. When you pair, let's try that again. Okay, and yes. Go through the securities. And it tells you, do you want to sync the date and time with the remote device? Yes. And as soon as you do that, you see the uh, watch has now updated its time. Uh, with that application, let's go back there. You can easily get to uh, your pedometer. You can get to all the major uh, settings that you would expect with a Bluetooth watch, uh, such as your sleep. I didn't log in, uh, but it'll tell you your steps. It'll keep track of your distance, etc., etc. It'll do that over time as well, and it'll give you a nice chart of how everything is coming along for you. All of this is uh, very easy to set up. Uh, you can also find your watch if you lose it. Uh, it'll give you a nice alarm. The uh, settings for the watch are rather straightforward. Your phone settings, you can change your date, time, the input, and the display. Uh, and you can also go back to factory resets. Uh, you can change your call settings, which is something that I highly suggest that you do, but you do that here on your phone when you go into your Bluetooth settings. Uh, on your particular device, you'll want to turn your call audio off. Uh, the reason for that is your phone uh, sends the audio directly to your watch and it can be a little bit distracting if you're holding your your phone up to your uh, to your face for talking when uh, in fact your uh, device your your watch is the microphone and the speaker so the sounds not quite as good unless uh, as it is on my note 4 uh, but it would work very well if if you had a a sound on your phone that wasn't very good. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to talk about quickly was the uh, camera that is associated with the watch. This is going to be a little bit hard for me to demonstrate, but you'll notice, or you may notice, that it's not taking a picture of me when I'm looking at my watch. I got pretty excited because I thought I'd be able to FaceTime or use any of the other uh, mobile chats to uh, talk directly from my watch. What I'm gonna do now is twist my watch 90 degrees. And what you'll see is that's my phone. So you need it, the camera is actually pointing directly at the item. So it's not a straight on camera, it's a uh, shoot in front of you camera. Uh, I guess that's nice if you wanna take pictures of somebody. The uh, quality of the picture is uh, a little bit low, but it is uh, what you might expect for, for a price uh, of a watch this uh, set at this level. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that the watch, or I'm sorry, the, the camera uh, needs a memory card. And if you go ahead and do all of your settings and you set your phone up or your watch up uh, and then realize that you have to put the memory card in, you simply take the back off, you take the battery out, put the memory card in, put the battery back in, 
when you put the battery back in, you'll note your your watch has reset. It does not hold any of your factor uh, any of the settings that you would have put in at that point. It is only going to be uh, factory specs to uh, what came on the watch. But it is a good quality watch. It looks very nice. It will enable you to make calls or text directly from your device. Um, the number pad for texting is a little bit cumbersome if you're used to um, if you're used to a full-blown keyboard it's kind of back to the old uh, way of putting in a text uh, for those of you who had older phones uh, it's a number pad with the letters beneath them uh, other than that the, the phone or the watch is rather nice it looks great it feels rather comfortable and uh, I've been very pleased. So thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed.